What's up everyone, today we have a new lucky spinner event with a new mount inside of it. If you obtain that mount, you are gonna have 40% crit damage resistance forever. If you check your stats, the crit resistance is gonna reduce the crit damage you are gonna take. So if you are facing a warrior or an archer, you are gonna take less crit damage. And for now, on my account, without the mount, I have 381% crit resistance. You have a soul to increase your crit resistance. You have also a seal on your class to increase by a bit more your crit resistance. With the skill, every 10 seconds, you are gonna kill one enemy directly. I don't think it's gonna work on players and bosses, but it's gonna also boost your attack by 15% for 5 seconds. And this is gonna be great in my opinion in many content and in PvP as well. If the target is a boss or a player, you are gonna stun him for one more second. So that mount, in my opinion, is gonna be perfect for a mage. In the parking wars, it's gonna give you some scrolls, skills, hammers, fruits, dungeon keys, and skill coupons so this is a great mount for the parking walls as well now the question is should you try your luck and pull for that mount of course this is gonna be a great mount but in the future i don't know if it's gonna be on an lucky spinner event but we are gonna have that new mount it's gonna increase our global hp by 10 percent and when you are gonna take a fatal blow so normally when you are supposed to die you are gonna be immune to death for three seconds and after that you are gonna restore 10 percent of your max hp three seconds of death immunity is gonna be game changer in my opinion in many situations but one more time i don't know if that mount is gonna be on a lucky spinner event because if we have a look in background it might be on another kind of event because if you check that screen as well we are gonna have a new artifact and we have the same background so maybe it's not gonna be on a lucky spinner event and that artifact is also gonna be great. We are gonna have 10% global attack. It's gonna release a tornado every 10 seconds, increasing our attack by 10% and dealing 1000% damage to targets, reducing their attack by 10% for five seconds. So in fact, you are gonna deal more damage and you are gonna lower the damage inflicted by enemies. But let's concentrate on that event for now. And if you don't want to pull for that mount, don't worry, don't use your coins because you can save them for the next event. I hope that for once, I'm not gonna have to reach the guarantee to obtain the mount. So there we go, I have 102, so I'm gonna start with the two and we are gonna try to obtain the mount. There we go, the first the tendrils. Another 10, another 10 again, and still no mount for now, so maybe I'm gonna have to draw more than what I have for now. 40 left, 30 left, 20, okay. As always, I'm not gonna be lucky. Okay, I got some extra souls, I can claim other rewards as well. And now, I have to cash play again to obtain the mount. As always, I'm gonna have to spend, so let's talk about Aptoid. If you are planning to spend in the game, make sure that you are using Aptoid and my promo code MUSHROOM as written on the right of the screen. Doing that, you are gonna spend less and get more items. In fact, this is the equivalent of the Play Store and the App Store, but they are taking less fees and they are giving you some cashback on every purchase. For example, if I buy that pack for 110 euros, I'm gonna get 23 euros in cashback after that, so I'm gonna be able to reuse that after to buy other packs. Packs. Let's do that. If you have any question on how to install and use Aptoid, feel free to contact me. My ID Discord is right below me and you have a video guide in the description below. So there we go. I have my stuff. 130 more. So let's pull some more and finger crossed. Hope I can obtain the mount before the guarantee. That would be great. One more time, please. Last time I was forced to reach the guarantee to obtain the mount and to obtain the crystal on the previous event as well. Okay, so it seems like it's gonna be the same comment that time. All the time, now I'm not lucky enough, I'm always reaching the PD. This is insane. So let's go back in there and I'm gonna reuse the cashback I had. So I'm just gonna need to select another payment method. I'm gonna use my AppCon credits. Yeah, look at that, 55 euros, and I'm using my cashback only to buy that. Because I spent a lot in the past, so I have a lot of cashback and I'm gonna buy that for free. There we go, I have 70 more coins. Please give me the mount. Oh, Jesus. It's always the same. So I got more stuff, okay, but in fact, I only want to have the mount 
and it's not popping for now. So I'm gonna buy that with my real money. I'm gonna get 11 euros in cashback as well. There we go. I have my stuff. I'm gonna spend my 70 remaining coins and hope one more time to have the mount before the guarantee. Is it gonna happen? Come on. Okay, so no luck at all. This is terrible. So I need 128 more draws. If I buy that pack, I'm gonna have 70. And if I buy that one twice, I am gonna have the guarantee. So let's buy that again. Whew. It's really expensive to try things in that game. So one more time, be careful when you are spending in that game because everything is about luck, okay? You can be lucky and obtain the amount if you spend 20 euros, but you can try multiple times to buy the $100 pack and as for me, you are not gonna get the amount before the guarantee, so be careful when you are spending in the game. So, 70 more. Give me the amount. 50, 40 left, and I have the amount. A bit before the guarantee, but I spent 200 euros again, so this is still a lot of money. So now, time to try the mount. So if I go there, I need to click on unlock to get the crit resistance, okay? So I'm not gonna do that directly, we are gonna try in PvP to see if it is gonna make a difference. So I'm gonna go battle against my friend DS Ellie, and we are gonna see the difference, with, without the mount. So there we go, we are gonna do multiple attempts. And he killed me, okay? Did you see the remaining health on him? We are gonna try another time. So I was there before and it was worse that time. Let's try a third time. There we go, can I do better than that? And that time I killed him. This is so <laughs> random in fact. So let's try a fourth time. Just in case I can beat him again. And nope, I have the same result as the first attempt. And for now, I'm using the cloud for the skill. So, let's first unlock the mount. Now I have 40% more crit resistance. I have a bit more power. And if we check my crit resistance, that's a flat 40% extra crit resistance, okay? So let's go back in there and try again versus the same guy. Is it gonna do a difference? <laughs> and I died earlier, and I still have the same mount. I mean, I just have more crit resistance, and you are seeing that I am dying faster than before? This is not normal. <laughs> Let's try again. I think I was really unlucky. And that was a bit better. Okay, let's try again. I was able to kill him that time. Let's try one more time. Okay, and that time he killed me, but that was a bit more consistent. I was closer to beat him. Let's try another time. And yes, I can deal at least maybe an extra attack or two. And so the result is a bit better just by, because I have the mount and I have a 40% crit resistance. I can survive just a bit longer. So now... What if I use the skill of the mount? Let's check that. So normally, I should have a bit more attack during the run. He was close to die. Let's try one more time. And that time it was way worse. But maybe that was a really unlucky run, so let's try another time. And that was the worst I ever had. So let's try a fourth time. And I have almost the same result as before. Okay, a fifth time maybe? Come on. And no, this is worst. So uh, this is clearly not a good mount for an archer. But in front of me, remember that he is a warrior with 32 million power and I am an archer with 31 million 500 power. So it's really hard to win versus that kind of player. But in a few days, I'm gonna have more Skyra the Pass and the Pyre Breaker. So I can't wait to try that. But the crit resistance helps a lot. 
I'm gonna empower my mounts again, so I have a bit more skill damage and basic attack damage, so that's cool. And what about PvE now? So normally every 10 seconds, I should kill one enemy directly. So let's use the mount and see if it does make a difference in PvE, because normally every 10 seconds, it should kill someone directly. So let's try to see if there is a difference on that. So it should proc soon. Two enemies left. One left. And it killed it directly. Okay, so it worked. So maybe it can help in PvE. But every 10 seconds, that means you have to survive. But maybe if you are playing a warrior, you are gonna have more survivability. And so to clear waves, it's gonna be easier for you. So guys, that was all for the video. I wish you the best on your draws if you decide to go for that mount. Wish you have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye. Yeah.